Hi, my name is Angie Rojas Agudelo, and I am a freelance Spanish interpreter and translator and a small business owner. I am also an entrepreneur in residence at Madison College. Today, I'm going to share a couple of tips regarding working as a freelancer that I am grateful someone shared with me before my first day as self-employed, and some that I learned the hard way. Number one, record your expenses. As a freelancer, you are your own boss, and naturally, you have some expenses to be able to offer your services. Think about everything you use to be able to get ready for your assignments, even if you also use part of that for personal purposes. Do you have a cell phone to be able to connect with clients? Do you have internet service, a computer, your vehicle? It depends on how you file your taxes, but normally you get the best return when you log in your mileage. Number two, save for taxes. To make sure you're in good shape for tax time, aim to save about 15% of your income every month to pay for taxes. Being your own boss means you will pay for taxes on your own and you do not want to end up with a big tax bill without the funds to pay for that. It would be a great idea to connect with an accountant with experience with freelancers and 1099 miscellaneous forms to establish quarterly estimated tax payments. Number three, budget for time off. A great benefit from being a freelancer is that your time is flexible. You can take time off whenever you see it fit for you. And also, to be able to offer a great service, you need to take care of yourself and your family. However, this also comes with a downside. You do not have paid time off from an employer. As self-employed, you would have to pay yourself for time off. So it means it would be a good idea to budget some time for those days when you will not be working. A good rule of thumb would be to have enough for at least 10 days throughout the year. So there you have it. Number one, record your expenses. Number two, save for taxes. And number three, budget for time off. It can be easy to ignore these things when you have so much to do. I get it. But I assure you that starting with these three core tips will be a crucial part of your journey to success. Stay tuned for more freelancer tips in the weeks to come. And that is today's two-minute trip tip.